It's been so hard to hold off buying this set, mainly due to wanting a good deal on it. But now I've pulled the trigger and finally I own the new Star Wars droid and clone trooper battle pack. A pack full of some small builds and a lot, and I mean a lot of minifigures. It was already good value for money, but I managed to get it for an even better price. But was it worth waiting for a deal? Let's find out. This is set number 75372. And when it first released, it was an instant hit with Star Wars Lego fans and Honestly, I'm not surprised, especially with people looking for a set just to boost their minifigure collection in general, or people looking to build armies of clones, which is something this set definitely has going for it. This set is also ideal for those wanting to make MOCs of the Clone Wars, with this set coming with a multitude of droids, including this tri-droid build, which is quite big. This set is usually priced at £24.99, but after holding off for a while, it has finally gone below £20 in most places, and I ended up buying it for £18.39. Pence. A nice saving of over £6 in total, which is always a good thing. Taking a look at the box art, there's a lot of action going on with what looks to be Coruscant in the background. We also have these Super Battle Droids in the background as well, alongside this Tri Droid, which appears to be walking. We then have two clones in front with a launcher, one of these clones being a Shock Trooper. Then moving to the right, we have two Battle Droids, one seeing what's inside this box, and the second one on a Stap Aerial Craft, with two final Clone Trooper minifigures in this set on the speeder bike scene here. Turn the box around and we have another action shot with one of the clone troopers capturing a droid at the bottom here. Looking at the top right of the box we have a look at the player features which are the launchers on the tri droid build and a ground launcher which can be used by the clones. Inside the box we find three bags full of parts, no stickers which is always good and two instruction manuals, one for the tri droid build and one for the rest of the set. Once you've assembled all the minifigures and built all of the builds this is what you get. In total you get four builds in this set. This includes this launcher with shields on the side, the Stap Aerial Craft, the Clone Speeder Bike and the Tri Droid, which I initially thought was a Spider Droid but realised mistake when I saw the size of it. Starting with the launcher with the shields on the side, this is a nice little build that adds to the battle scene and as seen on the box of the set itself, the clones can use the shields on the side on their own. The Stap Aerial Craft is a simple build but definitely looks the part with a translucent stand allowing you to pose it in the flight of battle and the minifigure goes on quite easily which is surprising because I thought it would be quite fiddly. Moving on to the speeder bike and Lego seems to have learnt its lesson from the last battle pack with the scale of the speeder. This speeder definitely scales better compared to the minifigures and looks pretty good and surprised Lego didn't include more translucent parts to give it the impression of it flying like with the aerial craft. Finally the tri droid build which is quite impressive in its size and its building techniques. It also has these flick fire missiles on the side. You do have to be careful when lifting it by its head though, particularly when you grab the top dome as this bit can easily come loose. Now for the bit everyone is looking forward to, the minifigures. And there's a fair few of them. Nine to be exact. This includes three clone troopers, one shock clone trooper, two battle droids, and three super battle droids. The super battle droids are actually reintroduced with this set after being absent since 2016. The torso is a new mold as a result of the absence, but the arms and legs are the same as the last set they were in. Moving on to the battle droids, and it's hard to believe that these haven't changed since they were introduced. And I'm not surprised to be fair, Lego nailed the design the first time they did these, and I'm happy with the designs as well. One of the droids in the set uses the stud on the back to store a weapon so it can travel on the stop aerial craft as well. Onto the clones, the shock trooper clone has one difference when compared to the normal clones besides their different printing and that's their gun. Besides that the all feature printing on their helmet as well as the front and back of the torsos with some additional print on the front of their legs. Honestly there's not much to say about the clones but that doesn't mean they're bad because I think they look really good. With that here's my thoughts overall on this set. I really like it. The builds are simple but are good inclusions for the theme of this battle pack. The minifigures included are a nice bundle with a little bit of variation for the clone troopers and two types of battle droid. One we haven't seen in a while and looks really good now. In terms of the price even at $24.99 in my opinion it was definitely worth it. If you can get it cheaper and it seems in most places you can get it cheaper now, definitely grab it for cheaper and you will definitely not regret it. So guys, what do you think of this set? Will you be grabbing it now that it's a bit cheaper or are you still on hold not for a bit more of a deal? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.